Welcome to Wisdom Wednesday with TDB. Look at this other verse. I thought it was great. Matthew 10, 7. Read. He says, as you go. He's talking to all of us, including your pastor and your bishop. As you go, preach what? This message. Everybody say this. You know why he said this message? Because he know you got your own. He know you got your own little, little pet message. You know, I hear dumb people talking about, well, I'm a deliverance preacher. Well, I'm an anointed preacher. Well, I'm a Baptist Holy Spirit. Oh, shut up, man. Only one message he said to preach. Come on, y'all say it with me. As you go, come on, say it. As you go, preach this message. What's the message? The kingdom of heaven has arrived. There is no other message. We preach a government. We preach influence. We preach authority. We preach transformation of society. That's our message. Look at Matthew 13, 11. He says, the knowledge of the secrets of the kingdom has been given to you, but not to them outside. In other words, I've given you the principles and precepts for a good society because I made the earth. That's my property. I know how to run it. And I give you the laws and the precepts to run it by. Don't make your own laws. I already give them to you. He says, and I give them to my church. The church is supposed to have them. Now you know we are in trouble when the bishops and the leaders of the church make the laws of the world their laws. We don't like Jesus because he doesn't accommodate you. Can I say it again? We don't like Jesus Christ because he has no accommodation for your unique perspectives on what is right or wrong. That's why we hate him. He demands obedience, not cooperation. He demands, he demands obedience, not adjustment. That's what's wrong with the church. The church has become this democratic environment where you vote on things that God already decided on. How can you vote on things God already decided on? You, you ain't got no vote in God's kingdom. There's no kingdom with votes in it. No kingdom have votes in it. The word of king is law. That's why Christ, I'm a king. I ain't no religious leader. Religions change by the currents of the, of the moment. But, but, but the kingdom of God is permanent law. He said, well, you know, well, you know, uh, the Old Testament, you know, say, you know, uh, you know, uh, two men shouldn't sleep together, you know, but now, you know, that's the Old Testament. You see, you know, God got to come up to date, you know, because, you know, we up to date, you know. Let me tell you how, how up to date you are. Can I tell you how up to date you are? Two men want to sleep, sleep together. Let me tell you how up to date you are. It's found in the book of Genesis. That's how old you are. You ain't new. Sit down and behave yourself. Sodom embarrass you. You ain't saying nothing yet. These guys in Sodom and Gomorrah were so bad that when the angels came to visit, the guy says, come sleep with me. They want to sleep with the angel. The guys, you ain't bad. You ain't say bad yet. These brothers were bad. They want to sleep with angels, man. They were so messed up in their minds. And that spirit is really powerful. It makes you lose, lose your rationale. You'll kill just to have your own pleasure. The angel has to strike them blind. This is in the Bible. There's no room for adjustment. We're supposed to be outstanding lights. You don't negotiate with darkness. You turn the light on clap man help me out here you, you you don't walk around the church has become so diluted that we are more focused on trying to be nice than being right <laughs> we think that love has no judgment so we kind of build this whole thing on love that's what's going on in the parliament. Everybody says, you know, we're supposed to love one another. That ain't true. Love has judgment. Yeah. Let me prove it. Your wife says she loves you, and then you find it a bear with another man. Now, now don't, don't get me wrong now. You, you gotta be nice to her, according to you. You find your husband in the bear with another man. 
Don't, don't forget now. You got to be nice. Everything is love. You got to love. You got to love one another. You got to be loving. No judgment. Don't, don't, don't judge your wife. She have a right to sleep with that man. She have a right to sleep with him. That's how we think. It's so stupid. No, you get divorced because of what? Divorce is judgment on that behavior. You tell him, I can't sleep. I can't live with you anymore. You violated a law. There's judgment in love. Don't confuse forgiveness with harboring. I forgive you for what you did, but I'm gone. get carried away I love you now but I ain't sleeping with you no more you and your age can go home somewhere else you you in, in other words listen to me you you know I love you I forgive you but I judge you too it is my prayer that you prosper in all things and in all things you get an understanding in Jesus name amen thanks for listening and I hope to see you soon. God bless you.